Okay, we're going to take a minute and talk about this revenue grade meter. Try and have a better understanding of what it is, what it looks like, and what it does. First thing to say is that you may not always have to install a revenue grade meter for your systems. Sometimes they're not required, and sometimes they're actually built into the electronics of the inverter. Typically, they're required if your system is leased or you're getting a power purchase agreement or some sort of financial arrangement where detailed monitoring of the output of your system is required for the financial side or maybe by the utility side, that's what will require it to be installed. This is what a typical revenue grade meter enclosure is going to look like. This is the base and in the back there are these four uh, plugs where the prongs of the meter are going to attach into and there's also four connection points for the wires plus two in the center for grounding the enclosure. This is what the digital meter actually looks like. Typically it's digital these days. And this is the device that will be plugged into those four sockets and will be giving all the readings of the energy that the revenue grade meter is recording for you. And this is the back side of that meter showing you those four prongs that would be just pushed in and plugged in to those four lug positions uh, to attach it inside of the meter uh, housing. And this is just a way to show you the wiring that you're going to be doing. The wires from the inverter are going to come in on the left side and go up and attach to the top of the uh, attachments. The electricity flows through the meter, comes out the bottom, and those wires are going to come out the bottom and go off to the right and connect to the AC disconnect. The ground wire it's going to come in, connect, and go on out to ground the enclosure. And the neutral white wire is just going to pass on through. It's not going to be connected to anything. And to finish up, just to remember that the revenue grade meter is installed after the inverter and before the AC disconnect. So the idea is that all of the solar AC energy that's being created, the kilowatt hours, will flow through the revenue grade meter from the top to the bottom. And it's just going to count up over time all the AC kilowatt hours that the inverter outputs. And that's what's going to be recorded to the leasing or PPA organization or to the utility. There's nothing to turn on or turn off with the revenue grade meter. It just works. Hey, thanks for watching the training video using Interplay's simulation-based training program. You can keep watching our solar videos by clicking on the link to your left or stay up to date on our latest solar snacks by subscribing on your right. To learn more about how the STP provides critical team training and helps you build an onboarding program at your company, please go to interplaylearning.com.